Paul Chu joins me now. He's the CEO of Weekend Unlimited Inc., trading on the CSE under the symbol P-O-T. Paul, welcome. <laughs> Good Hello to there. see you. How are you? Same here. Fantastic. A Good. lot colder than where I last saw you. I'm sure. You uh, recently changed your trading symbol from Y-O-L-O, -O, which was an abbreviation for you only live once, uh, to P-O-T, which some might consider quite the coup. How did that happen? You know, it's, it's luck. I guess <laughs> if you did the right things right in your previous life or two, you eventually get to own the pot symbol. Ah. I see. Okay, let's uh, let's talk a bit about the company. Tell me what Weekend Unlimited does and uh, why it should be considered for investment by investors. Well, we are a lifestyle-driven cannabis company. Uh, it is a cross-border play here. Uh, we have properties in Canada, uh, in the U.S., as well as in Jamaica. Uh, we are a vertical with MSO type of aspirations to roll out our properties throughout the world. And our specialty is creating brands in a market that is un overlooked by many others. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the brands that you guys currently have? Uh, we've acquired a few brands uh, in California. We have acquired a company called Canna Candies, uh, as well as Canna Medibles, which is more on the THC side. Uh, we have acquired Verve Beverage and Champs Energy out of Arizona. And we also have another uh, brand in the works out of Jamaica that we will be closing as well. Cool. So you've got performance drinks, candies, and uh, other stuff coming out of Jamaica. Now, didn't you guys also have a sort of uh, event-driven component to the company? Uh, it is called Weekend uh, Live, uh, Unlimited Live, and that is driven by different type of parties that we throw, that different type of meetings and meetups. Uh, in some cases, you know, where we do a lot of charity. And so it is a form of advertising that we're not afforded by the current ways of marketing here in the States and in Canada. But we do plan on using the weekend live as a way to reach our consumers, reach our supporters, and find a way to really connect on the experiential side. Hmm. Sounds like a good plan. And is there a travel component to your business model? I think we would love to find a way uh, to incorporate travel and leisure uh, or spa into it. And I think what makes a better place than to start in Jamaica? Yeah, you bet. Well, I was on a trip to uh, your operation in Jamaica there, and I thought that, well, I can say that I had probably one of the best times I had of all of 2018 there. Um, so the main focus then in uh, Canada and the United States is your, you have growing operations in both Washington and the British Columbia, correct? Uh, British Columbia is a, uh, is a hemp farm, uh, but we have to decide whether that once a year grow is actually a business to invest in and pursue. Uh, so I think we have yet to decide how we would invest that type of assets in, in that territory. However, in Washington state, we have acquired a, a brand new uh, an asset that is called Boggy Booms with 24,000 square feet of indoor. Uh, it is the largest of its indoor space in Washington state. Uh, and we will also do packaging out of their distribution um, and as well as our own type of branding, branded weekend products. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, so what's your uh, what do you what's the market look like in 2019 for Weekend Unlimited? Where are you going to do the biggest volumes of sales? Where's the catalyst for investors? Mm -hmm. uh, we've always felt that the catalyst would be from California, and that is where our home base is. Uh, we have production facilities out of Atalanto, California, which is in the high deserts. Um, that operation where Weekend uh, Unlimited has financial interest is, happens to be the largest uh, producer for distillate in Southern Cal. Uh, they can produce 3,000 liters of THC distillate a month, and trying to find all the feedstock and biomass for it is, is the big challenge for them. We will launch brands out of there with packaged goods such as vape, flour, um, 
as well as two other very distinct, um, what I considered uh, uh, maybe, well, I, I'll share more when I can, but it is a newly recognizable format that hasn't been really uh, played with in the THC space. Hmm. That's interesting. That's intriguing. Very mysterious. I, know. I love that. That means you're going to have to call me back. I yeah. will let you know in, in due time. But exactly. we do have a beverage focus. We do have an edibles focus. You know, I'll give you a little hint, and that is intimacy. And so you can think about ways to create that market um, and or ex experience that market even further. Now, you, now you're really exciting me. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, Paul. All right, then. So we'll uh, leave it there for now. We'll come back to you in due course. Thanks very much for the update today. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.